Hey mom, I like boys. <laughs> Welcome to TLR Tuesday everybody. Due to the recent happenings with marriage equality in Michigan, I thought that now would be an excellent time to share with you guys my coming out story, as well as like my overall like coming to know myself story and that sort of thing. All right, so it all kind of started like before anyone assumes that you would think that you're different. Um, for me, I guess looking back now, I can definitely see, like, the, the parts that are like, oh, duh, like, yes, like, I was in preschool, kindergarten, and I had five girlfriends, really, they were like, hey, hey, girl, hey, they're my girlfriends, like, I had a doll when I was a little kid, his name was Curtis, I had a doll, people, when, my sister and I would play house, I'd want to be the mom. So there's just like a few things that's like, I did have boys as friends too, but just not as much. Um, not as many like close knit friends were, were guys. Um, that was all throughout like middle school and that sort of thing. Like middle school I had guy friends too. Um, but middle school is like when things really start to like click that you're different. I wouldn't say I was bullied a lot, like, it was just kind of like people asking, which still kind of bugs me. And about fifth grade, that was like when like three schools, like elementary schools, like came together, so there was like this big like, okay, new people, new stuff, so I um, just remember like a couple things, like I remember one time this kid accidentally hit my butt and I was like, oh my god, this kid is gay, but really it was just kind of the automatic thing, like, okay, I want to get the focus off me and put it on someone else. I also remember, like, this was sixth grade, and it seems like this is really, like, dirty or, like, perverted for, like, a sixth grader to think of, but someone had asked, they are like, do gay guys get turned on by, like, the sight of their own, like, stuff? And I was, like, in my head, like, subconsciously, I was like, no, we don't. I didn't think anything of it back then, but it was just like, I identified as far back as 6th grade as gay, so that's pretty crazy. But moving on, I actually went into like this phase where I was like into like the skulls and stuff, which I think was kind of like me pushing back, like no, 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 like it was just kind of, okay, so I want to do something kind of masculine, so let's be into the skulls and shit, because that's masculine. I guess um, high school things kind of changed more. I, throughout freshman and sophomore year, I felt like I identified as like straight and stuff. And even throughout junior year, I was like, I was kind of coming to terms with it, but it was really like a, it was a process because at that time, like my best friend Ian and I were like getting closer and closer and closer. So, and he was also gay, so. That kind of like, I don't know, I guess it made me more comfortable having someone who had the same situation. My senior year of high school, if people would ask me, I'd be like, what do you think? And I wouldn't give them like a yes or no answer. What makes it your business? Who I like or who I'm attracted to? Um, then I met someone and it was after I gra had graduated and I had like free time on my hands. I was pretty much doing what I wanted, and I would, um, this is where it's kind of sketch, I would, like, tell my parents, oh yeah, I'm going to a graduation party. No, I wasn't going to a graduation party. I was going to see this person. He went to school at, like, Superior State, and then I was coming down to Eastern, so clearly that was not going to work out in any way, shape, or form. So, like, we did dinner on this last night, which was August 22nd and of 2012 and like for some reason like after our dinner and after everything that had happened that night I was just like I think I'm gonna tell my parents tonight and luckily for me I guess luckily my dad made it super easy for me like throughout my like senior year he was really freaking annoying because he'd be like it's okay to be gay or your best friend is which is a stereotype and that's like really pissed me off 
on the night of the 22nd, I was coming home from Birch Run, which if you know where I live, it's about 15 minutes away, and I, Katy Perry was on the radio, and I turned Katy Perry up, and I just kind of rocked out to Katy Perry, and then I got home, and I seriously, I probably most flamboyantly skipped up the porch, and then opened the door, and then my dad made it super easy for me, because he's like, what's up, queer boy? And I'm like, yep, you're right. And then it was just kind of like, I went in my room, and like, threw off my coat, and then I came back out, and my stepmom's like, jaw was like, I'm like, are you really that surprised? And my dad was like, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, so then there was like the awkward questions which like make you want to like slap your parents in the face because they're like asking stupid questions like, so are you the girl or the guy in the relationship? I'm like, don't try to put me in your heteronormative box. They're like, and get dawned on me after like this happened. Like no one cried or anything. So I mean, I guess I did kind of have a happy coming out story. But then it dawned on me like I hadn't told my mom, <laughs> like my real, my real mom. And I was like, hmm. And I wasn't sure how she'd feel about it or her side of the family. So I just kind of sent her a text message and it was like, hey mom, I like boys. <laughs> And then of course I get like this text back is like, what? Exclamation point, exclamation point, question mark, question mark. But it was funny because like I told my roommate before I told my parents, which was like a complete stranger to me at the time. He's like, so do you have a girlfriend? I'm like, mm, not really into that. And that's kind of how I told him and he was like super cool about it. They say it gets better, it ought to, but like, seriously, like, I thought it was gonna be so hard. Like, I thought I was going to be, like, hated, and, like, I haven't experienced, like, any of that, like, eh, slight degree. So, yeah, it's, it's been a ride, like, no doubt, like, if you're thinking about coming out or whatever, I would just say know your situation, like, know the situation you're going into, and sometimes you can't, but for me, it was very easy to know the situation, at least with one side of my family, with, um, like my dad was like, oh, it's okay. Like, so I knew that I was gonna be okay. Of course, some things did change. Story of, of the day, it gets better. It's probably the best thing I ever did. I could not imagine still living that life of, I don't know, it was like self-hatred because you're like, oh, I don't wanna be that and I don't wanna do that. But then you're like, and you just come to the realization. And like, don't rush into anything because there's no need to rush it if you don't feel like people need to know. I mean, it's, it's definitely part of you, and part of you you should be able to show, but if you feel like you're going to be unfairly judged because of it, then why share it until you're ready? If they don't want you in their life, or if, if they're like gonna hate on you, then you don't need them. But <laughs> there's plenty of other people in the world and like for me, it was like my grandpa, it was like step grandpa, so I was like, how much I care about that. I don't, so. Sorry, not sorry. Like, don't be posting stuff on my Facebook about Leviticus. If you would like to check out my blog, it's in the links below, corbinsout.blogspot.com. Let me know if you like this video, if you have any questions, anything, like all my social media is below. Feel free to message me any way, shape, or form. Let's celebrate marriage equality together because that's pretty freaking awesome. So, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, let's celebrate marriage equality together in Michigan. And thank you so much. Swoosh!